Vandal Savage and his team of villains are attacking Metropolis in the pages of Superman. And the Man of Steel's only hope for survival might be, wait for it, kryptonite. We've got writer Gene Yang here to get us ready to dive into issue number 48. Superman basically lost his secret identity and also his powers. So he's at a real low point. In the last three issues, he spent some time in Oakland where he kind of found himself again. So uh, going into 48, 48 is actually uh, part of a, a larger storyline that again runs through all of the super books. Uh, it's called Savage Dawn and Superman finally faces the man who's been behind all of these losses that he's experienced. All right, so now that Superman is mortal, can you tell us how he's gonna protect himself and Metropolis from Hoarder Root? Well, that's the thing is that um, we we talked, like as a Superman team, we talked a lot about what makes Superman Superman. Is it the cape? Is it his, his S-curl? Is it his powers? What exactly is it? And really what we believe is that there's something even deeper than all of that that makes him who he is. So even without his powers, he's still Superman. Uh, a, a big part of the storyline is about how he tries to get his powers again, how he, he tries to get his powers, not for the sake of himself, but for the sake of serving others. Whose idea was it to throw a bunch of kryptonite at Superman when he's already half powered. We we talked. The, the, Greg Pak was was the one that brought this up. But we talked about what what uh, chemotherapy was like, and I'm not totally sure how that even came up as a topic. But we talked about how chemotherapy is this really weird thing, right? Where you actually do something that's kind of hurtful to you in order for yourself to get healthier. And we thought maybe kryptonite could be that for Superman. It could be like chemotherapy for Superman. So we've met Agent Trevor. But is there any possibility that we're going to get a bigger story with him in Superman moving forward? So he, so he's a, he's a big factor in Superman 48, and it was a lot of fun to to write those two characters together because in a lot of ways they share similar values. They're both about self sacrifice, uh, but then they have this funky thing where they dated the same woman, you know. <laughs> Okay, so this Superman story arc is spanning over all the Superman books. So what's your specific role? You know, I, I think um, I think all of us are exploring different aspects of, of what we're doing. In, in 48 specifically, I wanted to hit that self-sacrifice note, that, that, that piece of Superman that's to, at the very core of who he is. I wanted to hit that really hard. And as we move forward after that, I think what we want to do is we want each book to kind of build on top of the other. So we build on top of each other's tension and we build on top of each other's drama. It really has been a privilege to work with all these writers. Uh, you know, before this, I was their fans and now we're, I'm both their fan and, and their friend. So it's awesome. Superman number 48 is out today and you can catch even more adventures with the Man of Steel in Superman, Lois and Clark number four. And if you wanna check out more videos like this one, click subscribe to DC All Access.